Hi, everyone. Today, Sam and I are in the mood for coloring. Come on and join us. All right, Susie. Let's see what new things you know that I don't know yet. Oh, Sammy, get ready to be impressed. Whoosh. Ah, you want me to work on the same picture? Okay, then. Not quite yet, actually. Whoa! <laughs> Hold on to your hat, Mr. Great Artist. But why do you need a scalpel? We are going to make a kind of stencil from this sketch. Remember to always be careful with sharp objects, guys, and try to work neatly, of course. There's no need to cut out everything, just the few most remarkable elements. I wonder where this is going. Ugh. Give us a thumbs up if you do too, guys! Okay, the brows, the eyes, and the lips are done. And we don't need this big part as well. Whoop. Now we will simply put our stencil on top of our sketch. This way. Uh-huh! The cutout parts perfectly align with the same elements on the sketch! That's right! And just to be safe, let's secure the whole thing with paper clips. Here we go! Shiver me chatters, I think I got it! Now we're gonna simply paint those parts with a brush, right? Well, you've got the point! Only instead of a paintbrush, we'll use this. Shiver me chatters! This is gonna be fun! What do you say about all of these colors? Looking cool, huh? Holy cannoli! Let me come up closer! Alright, you can proceed now, Sue! <laughs> Let's roll! Now, Sammy, check this out! I bet it wasn't as boring for you as simple coloring would have been, huh? Are you kidding me? That was awesome! I wonder what else you've got up your sleeve. Ooh. The next in our coloring workshop is this young lady. Huh! She's too blurry to be colored with the paint roller, don't you think so? You're right. This time, we're gonna do some sketching. The best part of this technique, guys, is that you don't have to be too precise. Just place your marker against the paper and create. Use any colors that you want. Switch the width of the lines you're drawing by switching the chisel tip to the brush tip and back. Wow, what knowledge! The chisel tip will work best for the eyebrows if we use it like this. Up, 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 up. We can even add some shades and mix colors. Here we go. Okay, Sue, I want to try to do that too. Ah, what a bright color! Awesome! Ha, ah, I love that! Sammy? Where'd you go? I've got a terrific idea, Sue! Finish that sketch without me! Oh! <laughs> Sammy and his ideas! And there is even more yet to come! Sammy, we're waiting here! Ah, oh, come on, where did he go? Oh. What? Where did this come from? Oh, sorry, Sue, I had to run to the hardware store. And why exactly did you get this? Please don't tell me that your idea was to paint the walls in your room again. Actually, uh, yeah, the walls do bother me. But that's not the point! Better check this out! Are these watercolors? But I thought we were going with unusual coloring today. Stop being suspicious and make the big paintbrush rainbowy already! Okay, okay. In that case, the red color comes first. Guys, you can use any colors you want! While we prefer the Roy G. Biv palette. You know it, right? Well done, Susie! Now just make one nice diagonal stroke. Your wish is my command. Here we go. 
Guys, would you look at this? Amazing! See? I told you, my idea was brilliant! That's true. I really like this picture. Do you guys? Then give us a thumbs up! But how about something a little bit more complicated? Like a trip to Paris, for example. Super me chadels! Should I go packing? <laughs> no, I'm gonna need your help here. Let's give this girl a remarkable hairdo. We need this. We're also gonna use a sponge brush like this one. And acrylic paints of our favorite colors. By the way, guys, we love painting and coloring. And there are a bunch of videos about that on our channel. Oh, you should totally check them out. Ooh. All right, people, let's get started. The paint should just go straight through the stencil. Light and fast touches will seal the deal. An important thing here is to work sequentially. Sue is doing the very first layer. And I'm gonna make the second one! We'll carefully take the first stencil off of our picture and let it dry. Only after that can we move on to the next step. Roses are red, violets are blue. Slime Sam with a sponge a great picture can do! <laughs> you see? Easy peasy. Nice poem, Sammy. And well done with these clouds and a moon. But we've got to move forward. There are three more layers to go. Nice it must be to feel the wonderful city of Paris in your hair. You don't say, Sammy. Now this little Eiffel Tower will help us finish a few tiny details. And that's it. Watercolors will help us out with the makeup. And voila! A wonderful French lady portrait is finished. Oh, Champs-Élysées! Oh, Champs-Élysées! And if you want to know what's gonna come next over here, then you had better stay with us, don't go anywhere! Welcome back, guys. And here's one more girl without a hairdo so far. What are we gonna draw in her hair? New York? London? Tokyo? <laughs> Actually, this time we'll go with some sparkly glitter. But first, we need to draw the outline of her hairdo with glue. Here we go. Ooh, I'm gonna go get all the sparkles for my secret stash! I know Sammy loves shiny things. <laughs> Guys, you don't have to really be precise here. And by the way, you can make anything else sparkly on this portrait. I'm gonna add some glue on the girl's lips as well. Who's ready to see my precious collection of glitter? Haha! -ha. Wow, Sammy, you really brought everything you had. And note that not everything is pink. Here. <laughs> well, in that case, I want to start with the darkest hue. Here we go. Guys, you know that you can totally follow your inspiration with this craft, right? Oh, yeah. Get creative, and you will get a one of a kind, very beautiful, and sparkly portrait. Susie, do you mind? A little bit over here, and just a pinch right there. I like this type of art. <laughs> Oh, I really like how this portrait turned out. Holy cannoli! But you're not saying that we're done here, right? I want to keep coloring! <laughs> there is one more technique that I've been long wanting to try. You should protect your tables for this, guys. Meet our last girl. Ooh, she looks like a girl I knew back in Tibidaba. Wait a second. Is that all drawn in a single line? Yup, cool, right? Awesome! In a few minutes, We'll try to repeat it in one single line as well. But first, let's prepare this special watercolor paper for the coloring. 
The secret is not to spare the water, because watercolors really love it. That's why, before you start working, you should secure your picture against the table with double-sided tape. And that part is done. Now we're just going to apply different watercolors onto the paper, creating a few random splashes and blots, like this. We'll use a brush to kind of direct the way they smear. Ah, that's a very professional color blending, Suzanne. <laughs> Thank you. Now it's time for my personal challenge. Just make sure that everything's dry before you do this, guys. Why don't we let Sue finish her last piece of art for today? And in a couple of seconds, we will take a look at everything! Uh-huh, yes! I'm taking this one to my bedroom! Hey! One will look good there too. Well, Sammy, I guess your day was not so bad after all, huh? And what are these all about? Don't you get it? I'm planning what wall we should hang all the portraits on. And you're taking everything to your room? Nope, the glitter girl goes to the kitchen. Come on, will you help me hang them or not? Okay, okay. Guys, thanks for being with us today. Support this video with a thumbs up if you like drawing and coloring just as much as we do. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so that you don't miss any upcoming videos with Sue and Sam. Bye-bye, everyone. <laughs> so delicious. Oh, I love munching on popcorn while watching my favorite show. <laughs> hey, Sam, you want to shoot some hoops? Catch! <laughs> I'm so sorry. I thought you were gonna catch. I'm fine. <gasps> That's my favorite moment. Oh, Sammy, let's play. Can't you see how much I miss you? Oh, please. Come on, Sue. Can't you see that I'm already busy? Okay, I get it. You're stressed. But I can help you calm down. Look at these squishes. Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't need anything. Huh? Okay, fine. You don't notice me. Well, you asked for it. Maybe Wednesday will get your attention. Uh, what? Shatter me, Cheddars. You're like from the show. Now will you come with me? Do you have to ask? <laughs> Wednesday? Uh, I mean, Sue, so where did you go? Hello? I'm here, huh? Sammy. And I have something interesting. A portrait of your favorite character. Oh! Huh? But why does it look so strange? It's like two portraits in one. How are we gonna color the... Oh, holy cannoli! And this is what we'll do. We'll deal with one at a time. Ugh, you scared me, Sue. Okay, so which one will be the first? Oh, come on, make your pick. <laughs> hmm, I'm gonna pick this one. Awesome! So let's get to it. I've got the markers. And we'll start with this one. It looks good, but it's like something's off. Let's ask for an expert opinion. Hi, Sam. I mean it. Uh, Sue is drawing uh, Wednesday right now. Wednesday's drawing? Yeah, can you help uh, us? Hmm, that doesn't look real. Huh? <gasps> Let's add more shades. <laughs> huh? Oh no! Is this some otherworldly force? What's happening? Getting something. Did you make shadows Stop everywhere? Stop bossing around, Sammy. I haven't finished yeah. yet. Let's move on to the eyes. Oh, yes, they're brown and so penetrating. Well, uh, let's 
let's see. Uh, ah, they got into my shoe! Ah! <laughs> oh, Sammy. So that you're no longer afraid, we'll use a different color. You could also add some white to brighten up her eyes. All right. But, uh, actually, can I do it myself? Oh, thanks. Oh, wow. Well, well, just a little bit more. <gasps> I've got an idea! <laughs> oh, that is so you. Didn't finish painting and left it halfway. Oh, Sammy, Sammy. Wait a minute, I didn't actually run for nothing. Do you notice anything? Oh, wow. Wow, well, it might just work. Mm, let me see. So you haven't forgotten about the eyebrow, have you? <gasps> it's a one-eyed monster! <laughs> oh, Sammy, you get scared so easily. We just haven't finished yet. Friends, do you like this half of Wednesday's portrait? If yes, give us a thumbs up. Hey, Sue, I've brought colored markers here. Maybe they'll come in handy, too. Mm, well, we could color her hair. Cool idea! Let me just consult with an expert first. Hello? Huh? No, no, no. These colors will be too much. Oh, no, not again. Oh, you could have just said no. Huh? <gasps> I'm sorry. Huh? Huh? Uh, huh? A white marker? <gasps> well, this'll do. Huh, it really does look much better. Yeah, but next time, don't throw markers at the slime! Oh, I can finally do her hair. So, hey! Sammy, stop messing around. Wednesday's hair is black. <laughs> Why is it always Sammy? I didn't do anything, just wanted to help. Let me start and you will guide me, all right? <laughs> Let's set a little bit more hair. Uh-huh. Well, what do you say, Sammy? Uh, why isn't her hair shiny? Oh, where's the stylist when you need one? <laughs> no, it won't work like that. Wait a minute. I'll fix it now. Uh-huh. See? Well, at least something should be bright in this picture. Fine, let's color the background with this. Oh, uh -huh. well, that should work. Uh, whoa! Hey, listen, I heard something! The black collar is the latest trend in fashion! Oh, really? Hmm, well, we can try that. Thanks for the oh. insight. <laughs> well, not at all. I'm always happy to help. So, let's start with the outline. Then we'll paint the middle. Hmm, and what color will the dress be? I know what will help us decide. The rock, paper, scissors! Let the game begin! Wednesday and Sam are in a head-to-head -head battle to choose the color of the next marker. As a result of a tedious struggle, the winner is... Wednesday! What? Well, I won't leave it like that! Take that! Oh! <laughs> it tickles! Please stop! Now who won, huh? <laughs> stop it, Sammy! I want a fair fight! And I choose the brown marker! Now, let's take the black one. Wait. I don't get it. Where is it? I have it. I took it to draw my self-portrait. Check this out. <laughs> I think there is a resemblance. <laughs> <sighs> well, for how long should I wait? I want to call her till you know. Sammy, why are you so grumpy? Just take the marker and do it yourself. Huh? Why didn't I come up with that? Wednesday, uh, I mean, Sue, is it okay if I add some lights and shades here and there? Go ahead. Aha. So now let's do a couple of strokes here and here too. A little bit more. Here you go. My job hmm. is done. Well, not bad. I think we're done here. Oh, what a beauty. <laughs> well, I think this cartoonish Wednesday was a success. What do you say? I say let's send it to Nevermore for evaluation. <laughs> um... Enid! Enid, where are you? I brought the drawing! Enid! <laughs> huh? What? This is mine now! Huh? Huh? Well, it doesn't look bad, but why only a half? Uh, well, we're kind of out of ideas. Here, talk to the boss. Uh, and I'll hold on to this for a while. <laughs> hmm? How did it get there so fast? <sighs> Just make the second part more realistic. We'll help you. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Enid. I'll do my best. To achieve the desired skin tone, let's mix several colors. We'll take this one first. The lighter one. And now goes another color. A little bit darker. Like this. So, well, if we're drawing realism, then we definitely need a real makeup. I brought everything! <laughs> 
Okay, let's see what's in there. Huh, a lipstick. Well, I have a marker of the same color. Let's go. Something else here! Whoa! Thank you. We'll use them for the eyes. Wait, did you say eyes? Then maybe you'd better take... <laughs> something from here? Look, what a palette! Hmm, indeed, there are so many colors here. Let's choose... This one. Well, how will it look? <gasps> Great! Mm, let me check. Uh, it doesn't look right. Hold on, I haven't finished yet. We need to add a couple more strokes here. And a couple of strokes there. Uh-huh, this will give life to her look. Huh? Oh, she turned out beautiful. No creepiness at all. Hold your horses, Sammy. And from you, friends, we'd like a thumbs up and subscribe. Oh, yeah! Oh, she's doing so well. Huh? Oh no, I'm stuck! Oh, what's happening? Whoa! Oh, whoops, it was my little blast. Sorry! Phew, at least it's over now. Well, what are you doing here chilling? Who's gonna call it the rest? I will, I will. Well, Wednesday's hair is ready. But now my hair is in trouble. Hmm, let's fix it. Uh-huh. Oh, so much better. Hey, let's make Wednesday's hair shine too! All right! Susie, why did you prepare this pencil? Wednesday was black, not blue, you know? <laughs> oh, how rude! <laughs> A few more finishing touches and the background will be ready. Here we go. Well done! And now you can draw an outfit! Looking at me! Just look at my color! <laughs> I'll take you as a reference. You're like a walking Wednesday guide. <laughs> Well, her wonderful dress will contrast with her black color. I promise it'll turn out great. Wow, call the Nevermore News! Here we have Wednesday drawing Wednesday! <laughs> so what? I almost make her look like me. And in my opinion, she turns out well. Now let's work on the frills and her dress. Agreed on the style of realism? Your drawing doesn't look like this photo. Oh, really? Well, now I'll tickle you, Mr. Great Art Critic. <laughs> now you're talking. All we've left to do is just a couple more finishing touches. Uh, well, the lips turned out just awesome, and the tone of the lipstick fits her perfectly. <laughs> so now you're also a great makeup artist, I see. Oh, well done, Sammy. A good crafter needs to know a little bit about everything. <laughs> so, how much longer? I can't wait to see the final result! Just a few more seconds, Sammy. Well, check out what we've got. Hmm, somehow these lines from a pencil confuse me. And I just happen to have an eraser. Okay, <laughs> I got it. And now we can all admire the portrait!
Phew, we finally got it done. And it came out just awesome. Shall we send it to Enid now? I don't think so. Just a couple of pictures will do. <laughs> Did you enjoy painting with us? Then give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. <laughs> Uh-huh. Um, where did I hide them? Where did they go? Oh, Sue! Interesting. Aha! Uh -huh. You're painting here, huh? Yes, why? You see, I wanted to draw too! Okay, grab a brush and join me. That's the point! I can't find the brushes! Do you know where they are? I searched everywhere! Holy cannoli! Hmm, actually, I have an idea! Come with me! Hi, guys! Today we're gonna make a very unusual painting! The result will surprise you! Susan, are you sure we need such a big canvas? Don't worry, Sammy, everything is thought through. Go, I need space. Ugh, well, you would know. Ugh, but I bet you need this! Thanks! Your help is always right on time! And the main thing in every painting are paints! Er, I need this too. And this. I really like to draw with acrylic paint! Yes, they're so bright! You said we won't need brushes, so I brought some Q-tips! I like it! You're right, it's possible to draw with Q-tips! Have you seen the video on our channel, guys? I strongly recommend you watching it! Trust me, you won't regret this! So, Sue, are we gonna use them or not? This time, we won't need Q-tips either! Ooh, if it's not a sponge, I don't know what to bring! Think more, Sammy! Uh, is it a painter's brush, then? Nope, I'll be drawing with my own fingers! The cool thing about paint is that you can mix any color you want using only… red, yellow, and blue! Susan, what about protection? I'm guessing there will be paints everywhere! Guys, if you're not sure your hands are firm enough, you should put on an apron. But you're gonna be careful, right, Sue? The real masters don't need protection! Let's get started! We can even take two portions in one movement. Minimum ingredients and maximum result, right, Sue? Correct. <laughs> But what if you need to change the color? What should you do? As always, you just need to change the brush. <laughs> Let's draw a face. It's very easy. Considering the colors, I can conclude it's a scarlet macaw! Wow, Sammy! How did you know? I'm really impressed. I'm full of surprises, Sue. You may not know this, but I'm an experienced bird watcher! <laughs> Where did you get so much time for all of your hobbies? I'm able to look at two different things simultaneously, like a Scarlet McCall can! Wow, I could use this skill when I need to do my homework but I want to watch a movie. Guys, stay tuned if you want to know what's next. So it's my napkin! Sam calling Sue over! Guys, I need your answer! Do you copy? Oh, I got carried away. Sorry. Oh, guys, would you look at how beautifully these two colors are mixing together? A quick life hack for you guys. If your paint is too thick, you can dilute it with water. But if it's too runny, you can mix it with talcum. And talcum. Okay, I got I need to write that down. Sammy, maybe you want to try this too? But you're doing so great there! Guys, just look at those precise movements! If we mix blue and white colors, we'll get light blue! This will add some volume and brightness. Sue, how do you like my new image? I probably should look the part. You want to make life brighter as I see. Seems like I'm petting a canvas as if it's a hamster. <laughs> yeah, Coffee's worried that we could bring a parrot like this one home. Huh? 
I guess you need this, Sue. Here you go. Thanks. You always take care of me. What would I do without you? I just don't want our painting to look dirty, Sue. Oh, really? <laughs> Sue, stop. Jokes aside, we need to finish this craft. Okay, why don't we add some dark hues at the sides like this? Well, Sammy, it's just clay. You can try that. Never me chatters! How do they actually eat this? Sammy, what are you saying? Clay is inedible! But I read that scarlet macaws eat clay! Ugh! Yes, to neutralize plant poisons, they have special ferments for it. Thank Jebedava I'm not a scarlet macaw then! <laughs> Guys, we're at the finish line! We'll see the result very soon! All we have left is to draw the bird's body and tail. The technique is absolutely the same. We take some paint and make strokes. Sue, make room for me! I'm checking out the place! Sammy, go away! You don't understand! I heard that you need to buy a really big cage for a scarlet macaw! Sammy, no. We've already discussed it. We're not gonna buy a scarlet macaw! But it's so cute! Pretty please! Let's have one! I'll draw our parrot a tail and it's not gonna be so sad not having him at home. You're right. We already have so many pets. I don't want them to get jealous. Phew! That was close! <laughs> Sue! Did you know that there are so many macaw species and they are all so bright? Great green, blue and yellow, blue throated. I think Sammy's really enjoying making parrot crafts. Don't worry, Sammy. Now you have the technique, so you can draw whatever macaw you want. Guys, by the way, you don't need to copy me. You can choose your favorite colors for this craft. There are so many beautiful birds in the world that we need to make a schedule. Let's see. Well, we could draw a colibri on this day. Here, we'll draw a swan. And this day, maybe a sparrow. Oh, wait. No, let it be a mandarin duck. Oh, Sammy and his vivid imagination. Oh, Sue, how's it going with the painting? We're almost done. I bet the guys can't wait to see the result. I think red will look great on the tail. If you agree, give us a thumbs up, guys. Painting with your fingers is a great way to spend time with your friends and parents. Sue, can you sell me a hat? I need it. Is it a dress up day today? I'm just trying to find a proper outfit for a Parisian exhibition. What? An exhibition in Paris? When is it gonna be? We've gotta draw a lot of paintings then. Then you take care of the drawings and I'll choose the outfit. In the meantime, we're making the last touches. Here we go. Woohoo! Guys, it's finally ready! I'm so happy! I totally love this drawing! Wow, that's really something! Guys, do you want to see our beautiful craft in all its glory? Then follow me! Well, Sammy, is this okay or not? Let me see. Hmm, no, I think you should move it a bit to the left. Or not, I don't know. Let's choose another spot. <sighs> okay. How is it now? Interesting. Looks good, but let's move it to another place, please. And now? Sammy, my hands are already tired. Let's see. Hmm, Up. Oh, it's great. This is the best. Finally! I thought we'd never hang it! <laughs> yeah! Our picture is so cool! I could look at this parrot all day long! 
I can understand that, Sammy. It came out really great. Guys, if you want to see more painting videos, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the bell button so you don't miss our next video and subscribe to our channel. Uh-oh, I'm blocking the view. Guys, see you soon. Bye-bye. <sighs> Why on earth I can't do that? Sammy, what's the matter? Why are you so sad? You see, I wanted to draw a portrait of one girl, but I failed. Maybe I can help. I'm good at drawing. Like this. Uh-huh. Well, look at this pretty lady. <laughs> can you draw that girl based on my memories, Ben? It will be easy and fun. Come on. Yippee! I will finally have her portrait! So, Sammy, I'm ready. Tell me, what's that girl like? She walked like this, gracefully, with her head up proudly. I see. Then she should have a clear jawline. Oh, check this out. She looked like this doll. Hmm. Got it. Hold her like that. I'm gonna base my drawing on her. Hmm. Hey, it's gonna take way too long. Please, just a bit more. Okay, let's do it the other way. I'll find someone else. You, do you want to be our model? Mm -hmm. Awesome. So look, that girl's eyes were like this. <laughs> so big and beautiful. You got that. <laughs> Your drawing is too faded. I can't really see anything. But I haven't finished yet. I will swap my pencil for a liner and hop. Excellent. Now I will outline this portrait and it will immediately become brighter. But just the portrait is not enough. Let's add more details to show my admiration. <laughs> All right, we can draw a few hearts here and there. A few hearts? Why are you greedy? We need more, more. <laughs> no problem. Everything here will be surrounded by hearts and stars. Would be nice if my muse came and inspired me. What? Has she come? Oh, there you go. My dream is ruined. Roar. I heard you are painting a portrait. How's it going? Oh, it's good you came. We need your glasses. That girl has those. Oh. Barbie, we'll give them back. Right after we are finished here. Let me add a few details to our drawing too. Hop, hop, hop. Phew, that's it. Everything you need is ready now. Sammy, I don't get it. I thought we were drawing a portrait. Why do we need all this stuff here? All those details are connected with that girl. Hop, aren't you just amusing today? <laughs> Sue, it's time for us to start coloring. I brought everything you need. And I asked this doll. She will help us, you know, pose and stuff. How did you meet her? Ah, back then, I lived in Tibidabo and went to conquer a mountain. And there I met a real dragon. <laughs> but I didn't back down, and the dragon ran away. And then she appeared. Hey, that's your cue. Oh, my fearless knight. Oh, yeah. Hold that pose. Your eyebrows look stunning this way. Uh-huh. Wait, Sammy, where did you get the dragon? Didn't they migrate from Tibidabo years ago? That is right. I was not a knight, but a stylist. I helped that girl choose the right lipstick color. By the way, our portrait needs just such a shade. All right. Hmm. Somewhere I saw a marker of this color. Yeah! Let's keep going! I want to do another skit. I have a talent. Stay with us, friends. I just need to... <laughs> Something's dragging away. 
<laughs> I wonder what else Sammy will come up with with his acting crew. <sighs> Hail to the dollar. They can't stand when it tickles. Now it is time for the real story of our acquaintance. We met in a cafe. I saw her from her back and the... <gasps> oh, my feta. I forgot her hair color. Oh, no. W what if it was like this? Or or maybe like this? Uh, uh, or this? No, I can't recollect it. Ah! Hey, what should I do with all this now? Oh, I got it. Her hair was colorful. Take the blue, Susan. If you say so. And colorful hair it is. She also had incredibly beautiful jewelry in her hair. Oh, Sammy, you speak so sweet. I didn't know you were such a romantic. Our meeting is boring. Gotta come up with a new one. Sammy, wait! I thought we were going to paint together. <sighs> so, it was a regular day. No signs of trouble. Rawr! And then the real monster attacked poor Sam! Rawr! Hey, sit! <laughs> okay, back now. Stay put. Good boy. This is how a beautiful girl saved poor slime from a monster. And cut! Bravo, bravo! While you were performing, I didn't fiddle my thumbs either. Oh, my sweet stranger friend looks so beautiful already! And this is the right background color! Care to help me? I'll be glad to! This picture turns out just fabulous! I also remember how I met that girl on the beach. She was sunbathing, and suddenly the waiter brought... Holy cannoli, this is not the ice cream we ate back then. Sammy, don't panic. We have a drawing of an ice cream right here. Then it should look just like the one in my story. Keep drawing, Susie. It was big and strawberry, and with a layer of vanilla in the middle. Yum! So, as soon as I was about to give a flower to the girl, appeared here. Arr, if you want her back, bring your best jewelry. Arr. That made me thinking to lose a girl or all my jewelry. Well, of course, I was ready to give up anything for her. Hey, those are my bracelets and earrings. I thought I lost them. <laughs> Whatever, that's a twist. All right, I'll color all the accessories here by memory. Thus, the ransom was paid and the slime hero was back with a win. <laughs> Do you ever get tired from your fantasies? Okay, let's deal with this top. What color should I take? Oh no! Oh, my story is mixed up in my head and I forgot her image! Sammy, don't panic. Look at this wardrobe. It might give you a hint. Well, well, well. Not this one, not this one. Ah, that's the one. Take green, Sue. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Okay, we've got a flower and a drink here. They definitely relate to the beach story. But what's with this butterfly? Huh? Oh, yeah. I just love them. No relation to the girl at all. Then why don't we imagine that that girl from Tibidabo likes butterflies? Or she might even study them. Mm. I'm sure of one thing. My muse couldn't leave without sweets. You don't say. <laughs> For some reason, I'm not surprised that your beautiful muse must love sweets just like you. <laughs> here we go. Let me help you color the candy. I'm a pro at this. Hey, what are you drawing while I'm coloring there? A gift box. I hope it fits into your story. All right. I think I will give her a gift the next time we meet. I'm glad that I was able to get into the flow of your creative inspiration. <laughs> What should I choose to give her? I kind of need all this for myself. Can't you just finish up coloring, huh? Exactly! 
me. I'm a great crafter. How could I forget? Done! Give us a thumbs up if you want to see crafts with headphones and unicorns later. In the meantime, look at this cool picture we've got. Oh, this is exactly the same stranger girl from Tibby Dabo. girl on my trip to Paris. Sammy, you've already told so many versions of that story. We could write a book. But I have never seen anyone more beautiful than her. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsie. How could you? And after I helped with your craft today. Oh. Um, it looks like our backup actress got too attached to her character. Friends, how did you like our portrait and wonderful stories that Sam told? Don't forget to subscribe and see you soon. And be sure to hit that bell button, people. Bye-bye. Shiver me shatters, Roger! Did you draw this yourself? That's awesome! Come on, Sam, you're embarrassing me! Oh, I wish I could draw like that, too! Oh la la, that looked more like a blueprint! Sammy, what? did you say something? Huh? Uh, brr. I'm saying that you draw well, only somehow angularly! Where are the smooth lines? Bright but gentle colors? There's nothing here that I love! Ah, so you want soft colors and smooth lines. I'll prove to you that I can draw anything, even some sweet cuteness. Ah, uh, why are you standing here? Go, follow him. Uh, I'm on my way. All right, what will it be? The sun, the rainbow, a few clouds. Oh, hello, friends. You're already here, and I have everything ready. Vroom, vroom. Here's some thicker paper for you, Rod. Oh, thanks, Sam. Have you already came up with what you will draw? Or should I help you with that too? I know that you're a great idea generator, Sam. But I think I can handle it myself. Well, well. Oh, you scared me. Rainbows and unicorns, huh? <laughs> Nothing out of the ordinary, am I right? <laughs> As always, you're in a hurry. We'll have only a unicorn onesie here. One, two, three. See for yourself. What? Uh, I think my glasses fogged up. Uh, oh. <gasps> you draw cute kids in onesies on the crowd? <sighs> and also a rainbow. Not just one, though. Hop, hop, hop. <laughs> oh, my fatta. Give us a thumbs up if you love this idea, too. Off somewhere. This is my chip. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to leave my mark on this magnificent. <laughs> so, I found the liner. What is this? Sammy, did you draw this? I just really wanted to be needed, Raj. You keep working on your own. Of course, I need you. Let me show you something. Abracadabra. Ta da! There you go. Just don't be sad. <gasps> my precious! While Sammy is busy, let's finish the first stage of our craft and move on to coloring. Let's start outlining everything from this corner. Uh, uh, Raj, don't you think uh, uh, that a rainbow should have uh, seven colors? Well, that Roy GB thing, you know? You're right. But what if it's a fairy tale world with a six color rainbow? Maybe this is actually a dream of one of these babies, huh? A dream, you say? Mm, I love taking a nap after a delicious snack. I'll be right here in the cloud. Oh, wake me up when you're done with the liner. As you say, I don't mind working in silence for a bit. Sam, it's time to get up. Uh, uh, what? Uh, I'm not sleeping. Are you done already? <gasps> what is this? Oh, how long did I sleep? <laughs> Let me help Ow. you. Yeah, thanks. 
Now check it out. What do you think of all this? Shiver me, Chatters. It turned out just great. Now we need to color that thing. I didn't know that I prepared myself a worthy competitor in drawing. Like this, yes. Carefully, easy. Now lower it. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> we had a great break, buddy. But now it's time for work. Boom. <laughs> okay, let's see. Ah, these watercolor pencils draw very softly. Great! Did you just call them watercolor? Should they be washed away with water? We can work with them as usual. Look how bright the colors are. Archer, don't confuse me! <laughs> okay, I'm sold. We're going to do this with water. Mix colors. Make soft transitions. Oh, you know you Roger! Your drawing looks like a real piece of art! I wonder why there's such a surprise in your voice. Did you not believe in me? Ha, of course you didn't. Nobody expected such a result. Alright, that's enough! Get lost, you! Ah, uh, can I also try this painting technique? Of course, Sammy! Soak a brush in water and try to blur the color right here. Ha, in a moment. So, like this. Just a little more. Oh, this and you're doing great. Much. How about coloring one of the babies in the picture? Are you serious? And I can choose the colors myself? Oh, so good. And I pick this one. All done! And I even gave this kitty cute pink cheeks just like mine! Great job, buddy! Let me just work it up a bit. By the way, here it is important not to overdo it with water, so that the color does not flow out of the outline of the picture. But still, this way you can make any drawing very beautiful, right? Oh, perhaps I should have drawn a smaller picture. <laughs> For tired hands that cannot color, the drawing magic gives you power. Wow, <laughs> that's what I call magic. Thank you, oh great slime wizard. This one reminds me of the Easter Bunny. <laughs> yeah, and he also seems to have taken air into his chubby cheeks and now he's hailing. You mean like this? <laughs> Oh, Slick Slime and his funny tricks. Eh. By the way, Sam, you reminded me that I also know some magic. Oh, ta-da! Great! We're done! Say that we're done, Raj! Has Monsieur Magnifique taught you nothing? Uh, what? <laughs> we have to work out the background. The details. We haven't used the markers yet. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Just keep working by the mozzarella. How does it on the well, well, let's see. Yellow and orange? No. Green and brown? Definitely no. Hmm. What are you up to, Raj? I want to make the background not only cute but also gradient, but what color to choose? <laughs> Still thinking. There's nothing cuter than pink. Come on, try this if one. If you say so. I trust you completely, buddy. Let's go. In case someone doesn't know, a gradient is a smooth transition from one color to another. And then on to the next, and the next. So there can be as many colors as you like. We started with pink, we finished with blue, and blend everything in the middle. Hmm, I like the way you're thinking, Raj. I approve. And a little more, just like that. A couple of brush strokes, and we're done. What do you say, Sammy? Did I do a good job? Let me take a closer look. <laughs> In general, I like it. But because of the blur and in some places, the picture is fuzzy. That's easy to fix. Seriously? How? <laughs> With markers, of course. Let's take the color we want. And just add brightness, shades, accents. So in general, we'll do this. Uh, 
how I love what we're doing. Please give us a thumbs up if you agree. And don't forget to subscribe to huh? this wonderful and interesting channel. Uh -huh. <laughs> and if you don't have markers at hand, you can add the accents with the same watercolor pencils. And I came up with something else. Come on, move over, Roger. So, uh, and this, just a little more. Perfect. Sammy, that was a great finishing touch. Well done. Why, thank you. Now let's take a good look at what we've got. more seconds and uh, try to freeze there. Okay, okay. All these artists are so demanding. <sighs> and your portrait is done. What do you say? Huh? What? Roger, is that what you call a portrait? Why do I have a bow in my head? Well, I think it looks nice. Actually, I'm an artist. I see it that way. <laughs> Roger, you fooled me. You should bring one. I should not. I have stuff to do. Thanks for being with us today, friends. Take care. Huh? What stuff? Hey, wait, you! Oh, uh, bye, everyone, and see you in the next episode. Roger! Hi, guys, and welcome to our drawing and coloring workshop. Try and guess what I'm drawing here. This magic creature will grow a beautiful mane in quite a bit. But for now, let's draw a little eye so that it could see us. Here goes a cute little ear and a rather long and strong neck. Does it look like a horse, huh? We will add this decor piece just to make this creature happier. Uh-huh. And now check this out. One, two, three, and a magic horn. I'm sure you've guessed what we're drawing here right away. Unicorns are my favorite fairy tale creatures. They are so beautiful. Oh, look! This little guy is winking at you! <laughs> he likes what we're drawing here! Did you know that unicorns can run really fast? That's because of their strong legs! Here's a couple of them! Now let's draw the front legs! Don't forget about the hooves! Hop and hop! Unicorns don't usually go too far from rainbows. Ours will have one right on the background! Now that this drawing is almost complete, we need to make the lines more visible. Just take a wide marker and outline everything that you've drawn. Wow, that's a real magic! <laughs> I guess our unicorn wants us to start with the purple color. <laughs> well, I don't mind at all. I love purple. Do you? It's important to stay in between the lines, so paint carefully. So this part is almost done. Why don't we make this one purple as well? This will look beautiful. A few more touches. And the next color is… What do you think? What do you think? Whoosh! Cyan! Oh, it really reminds me of the most wonderful things there are. Like the sky and the water in the ocean. It just feels like summer to me. Let's paint this part of the main cyan as well. It really looks good being next to purple, right? But we need one more color here. What's it gonna be? <gasps> Bright pink! Of course! Unicorns adore this color, I know! Do you like it? What color is your favorite? Hmm, I agree! I like it too! Ooh, we've got a heart spot here! I'm gonna do my best to make it colorful! Well, Mr. Unicorn, would you conjure the next color, please? Wow, it's 
yellow! It reminds me of a sour lemon. <laughs> or a sweet lemon cake. Let this neck piece be yellow as well. Or should I rather say gold? Once, I had a pendant in the shape of a unicorn's head. I knew that it could bring good luck to me and make my wishes come true. Let's see if the unicorns can still do that for me. I wish the prettiest color to be next. Hey, it worked! <laughs> Usually people draw unicorns white, but I want this one to be extraordinary. This color that is called magenta will do that trick. Be careful around the eye. Oh, that's right. Close it for a bit, Mr. Unicorn. <laughs> what a smart creature you are. I always wanted to meet a real unicorn when I was a little girl. Now it feels like a dream come true. <laughs> Just a few more touches and the neck will be finished. I like how it's turning out so far. And we're moving on to the unicorn's body. Even though this part of our picture is quite big, I prefer not to switch my paintbrush to a wider one. It is just more comfortable for me. And this way, I make more or less even strokes all the way around this painting. Here goes one more leg. You know, even though there are some rules in painting and coloring, still the most important one is to have fun during the process. The next color is brown! For the hoops, of course! <laughs> We'll make them bright and our beautiful unicorn will be able to run as fast as the wind! <laughs> I'm sure this unicorn could outrun any ordinary horse in the world. Do you agree with me, guys? Hmm, I wonder if riding a unicorn is the same as horseback riding? I guess we'll never know, huh? Is it just me or is the paint about to change its color? Purple it is! <laughs> we nearly forgot about our unicorn's tail! It should be no less beautiful than its mane. So why don't we make the center of it whoosh! Orange! What do you say? I really like how orange matches with purple. Such a bright palette! Now that our unicorn is perfectly colorful, it's time for us to deal with the background. And this time, I'm going to work with markers. Firstly, because this way the unicorn will show up better. And secondly, I love coloring with markers. <laughs> there is one important thing, though. You should make all of the strokes in the same direction. See? This way the picture will be more beautiful. Okay, next we'll take… The light green marker. Guys, do you know the proper order of the colors of the rainbow? I'm sure you do. That's why you might have noticed that I've decided not to follow it this time. I want to create my own rainbow and so could you. Just get creative and set your imagination free. After the grass green comes golden yellow. Just check out how differently the unicorn begins to look on a bright background, right? I'm gonna use orange next. It reminds me of both sunrise and sunset, the two spectacular things I enjoy watching. I'm sure you like them too, guys. Now comes this part of the rainbow. And we're at the finish line. Just a few more strokes here and there. And here comes the last color for today. It kind of looks like a tasty berry. Mmm. Here we go. Hey, look at that! Our Mr. Unicorn even closed his eye imagining the berry I was talking about. <laughs> or maybe he's fallen asleep? In that case, have the sweetest dreams, little magic creature. See you in our next episode, guys! Bye-bye!